Uh, some of the roles, as I said to you earlier, um, would be answering to what are the issues that are impending our growth, productivity, and competitiveness. And as I told you earlier, we are talking about quality of the products that we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are producing. We are talking about standardization. We are talking about patenting of our products. Well, uh, the, 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 the value I'm seeing Tivet bringing to the Juakali sector is giving us a platform a platform of a dignified production methodologies, uh, a platform of in, if increased efficiency in the way we are doing our production, a platform of interacting in a situation where our artisans are also given an opportunity to teach in the Tibets and vice versa. Some of these uh, lecturers in the Tibets, they are very good lecturers, but they have never done business. They have never produced anything for sale. If you look at a, a, a lecturer in a Tibet institution, uh, teaching about woodwork. There's a lot of drawings, but our artisans, our Juakali artisans are doing the real thing or at Kikomba. They're doing the real thing on Gong Road. So these two differences is what we are, uh, we are looking at bringing together. Then, once we merge, I'm seeing now Tibet's, the Tibet's giving us an exposure. We need to look, <clears throat> sorry, we need to look at how is German doing it? How is the first world doing it? How is the Asian countries doing it? Why is it that the technological advancements, the cottage industries in, this, in these countries are so advanced? Then together with the Tibet system in this country, we can move to the next level. Very well. And uh, the government is committed to close the housing <coughs> gap, which stands at 2 million units as of October 2022. <coughs> and what is the role the affordable housing program has played in support of the Juakali sector, as it is a key pillar in the government's agenda? Well, 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 we're talking about the affordable housing. I need to say three things here. First, I need to thank the government so much for finding it fit to use the Juakali sector artisans to produce the doors and windows for the affordable housing. This is a serious uh, initiative. It's a game changer. It's going to create a lot of employment opportunities to our people. In addition to that, the affordable housing uh, infrastructure has identified 69 products that can be produced by the Juakali sector. Six, the Juakali sector producing 69 products, including hinges, uh, doorknobs, and so on. This is going to be a serious, uh, number one, incubation center for efficiency and skills development for our people. Number two, it's going to mop up the idle youths, the idle skilled people that are out there who have not been used, used properly. Now, and I'll tell you that um, we need to do this in tandem with the recognition of pure learning policy in Kenya. We need to first track that so that the skills that we have in the building subsector in this country from the Juakali sector can be identified and certified so that when we, we supply our people to this affordable housing uh, process, we, we give the country the confidence that it deserves that our people are skilled. And I'll tell you something. In the rural areas, almost 90% of all the houses are built by Juakali sector people. Nobody asks a Juakali sector artisan where they went to school. The neighbors just tell you, I want a house like my neighbors. They don't ask you the who built it or where did you go to school. So I want to give you the assurances that we are up to it and we thank the government for giving us that opportunity. I want to move further and say that we also should continue uh, the issues of school desks to our people. Give the Juakali sector opportunities. We are everywhere. We are in all the villages in this, in this country where all these primary schools, secondary schools, and so on are there. It's so unfair for the institutions to import furniture which can be built behind your backyard by the artisans that are living in your environment.